Okay. We're getting ready to roll. Okay. Mmm. It's good, right? Mm hmm. It's very cold. I agree. Some would even say it's frozen. Mm. It's like a it's like a slushy. Yeah. Are we live right now? Yeah, it's it started. Where's our little video though? It'll take a minute to pop up. Oh. Da, ba, da, 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 da. Oh, sorry, wrong game. What? Huh? Huh? Sorry, okay. I was singing. I was singing the Zelda song. Okay, so Super Castlevania. Okay. You ready? Yeah. It's gonna be scary. There's gonna be bats, vampers. Vampers. Thing bangers. Bang anyway, bangers. we're rocking this out on the Super SNES Nintendo. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you play as the Belmont family who fights Dracula, who always gets resurrected every hundred years. So, generationally, this family always has to kill Dr Dracula. Okay, I'm ready. The Belmont family. What's the principal's name in Saved by the Bell? Mr. Belmont? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's his name, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's something a little bit different. Mr. Belding, that's his name. Belvar? No, Mr. Belding. Velcro? Stop. It's What'd you say? Mr. Belding. Oh, Mr. Belding. Yeah, I think. All right, let's name this guy Taffy. No. What do you want to name him? What does he look like? He's a hunky boy with red hair. He's a hunky boy with red hair. Okay, let's name him Charles Dickens. Dude, you and these just one <laughs> name. I don't. I don't. I only look. I only got like five or six slots. Okay. 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 Let's name him Super Casualistic Expialidocious. No, I was going to just say Charles Dickens. Okay, what about just name him... Um, Dick. No. Dopamine. I was going to say dopamine. Loner. Dopavon. Good name. Okay. Look, look, he works out. Look at his calves. Mm -hmm. You see that shit through the pixels. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my god. That's super sweet, right? It's because I touched it. I'm just such a sweet boy. Alright, here we go. Alright. So this game starts out kind of easy. It's not too hard to begin with. Mm hmm And, uh, yeah. We're just gonna run through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed run this shit. Alright. Have you ever seen the speed runners? I'll show you one of these videos one time. Basically, these are people that play the fuck out of these games over and over and over again. Until they're so good, they just go through it like warp yeah. speed. Like yeah. the, some of the Nintendo games took me as a kid like months to beat. These guys mm -hmm. ran through the original Castlevania in like 13 minutes. I don't know what that means. How long does it usually take? If you were to play through it and you knew what you were doing in in like you it'd probably take you like 45 minutes to an hour. 13 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, these guys are nuts. I feel like they need to calm down. I think so, too. They're clearly not married. Why? Because <laughs> they're so playing funny. games that fucking much. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got the, the... Some people call this weapon. I just got the cross of the boomerang. I just call it the fucking boomerang, right? Okay. Cause... I can't see anything because it's just, like, all pixels. I don't know what's happening. See how it goes? Yeah. Really? You can't see anything on this? I mean, I can see it, but I can't tell, like, what his weapon is. It's a whip. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, there's the boomerang. Oh, okay. I take it back. See how it looks when it's smaller on, on the screen to the right? Where? On the stream. See how it looks on the stream? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because these games weren't made to be on, like, super oh, big yeah, screens. People didn't have TVs and shit like they got now. Yeah. So that's the problem with the, the way the pixel design is and shit when you get bigger. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's just an intro thing, and yeah. How do you do the whip? What do you have to hit? You press the Y button. This is legit. This is See, legit. that's why I don't like to play video games, because I feel like it's too hard to find there's, out what your hands are There's literally to do. two buttons, jump and whip. Listen. That's it. That's hard for me. 
She's full of shit. You're full of shit. But, and then what else do you do? Like, looking at your hands? Well, I gotta use the control to make him walk right or left, and yeah. I press left or right to make him do that. That's it. Trust me, this shit gets hard. This is just intro level. So there's only two buttons that you hit besides the control where you go. Jump, attack, and move. That's too many. How many? What do you need? One button? Yes. Jump, attack, and tell me what they all are. That's it. Attack. You do your whip. A is jump. And then you walk right or left. Okay. A is jump. Y is attack. And... Oh, sorry. B... Well, the way I got it set up on here. B is jump. B is jump. Y is attack. Y is attack. And then walk left or right. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Let me do it. And then if you're going to get fancy, the boomerang is this button. That's too many. Okay. We'll See? just do the ones we, we, we went okay. over. Y is attack. B is jump. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Hey, I'm yeah, dying. You just keep going. I attacked that guy. Uh, you can't just walk into him. I'm trying to attack him. Oh, you got him. He's dead. D E D. I like that. All right, this things are gonna drop on you. Oh no, Rick! There's too many things happening. Just keep going. Just hit that guy with your whip. Where? Oh. The Medusa-looking dude. Did I make you die? Yeah, I don't care. Well, uh, and you can attack the candles, and they drop stuff. Oh, what? The candles. Oh my God, them. they're coming after me. Oh, they're coming. So with the whip, you can attack in different directions. There's Rick, I hate it. You're doing good. No, I'm doing bad. You're going to beat the game really quick. Bull You're doing it. Shit. Attack with your whip. Oh you gotta... my God, I don't look, I died. Yeah. I feel like it's too hard for me to do it all. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. These jump wise attack. I'll do it. I know those guys are going to come after me. Oh, they're coming. They're bringing the uh, pain. Uh, uh, uh. Get out of here. Horse heads. I don't like them. Look. <laughs> See, you go I don't want to. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you killed one. How do I go up the stairs? Press up. Oh. Oh, you hit something in the wall over there. I something did? in the wall, yeah. Okay. Now you got to jump to that platform then jump to the next. Horse head's coming to get you. I don't Just like run. it. Run. I'm running. Oh my god, he's coming. And press up at the stairs. There you go. Look at me. Alright, now you're gonna have to jump over to the right. Wait. How do I jump? B? Well, you need to get off the stairs to so go left oh. a little more. There okay. you go. Now you jump to the right. There you go. Now, Medusa heads get you. Now, you see those little wooden things, planks? Yeah. If you, no. if you jump on them, they'll flip and you'll fall and die. So you don't want to land oh. on it and do that. Okay, you go back to doing it. Okay, Some here we go. So you hit with the directions with the, the whips, right? Okay. You have, like, the coordination. I don't... Oh, believe me, I will be dying in this. Uh, this, is, this, this game You're is a little tough. You're walking over the little things. Why are you walking well, you can't, over them? You can't jump on them. If you jump on them, oh. then they flip. Okay. So in the Medusa heads, what they do is they'll jump on you, or they'll hit you and make you fall back on them, and then you'll fall through. Oh. Uh, let it dangle. Yeah, I'll totally beat this in like 10 minutes. No, I won't. There you go. All right. We're almost at the first boss. What do you do with the boss? Hit him with your Yeah, so he'll see where it says times? player on the top. Yeah. See how it's red bars and... So the boss is basically just you whip, you do the whip. Yeah, you gotta whip like, him. why, 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 why? Yeah, you throw that's your it? daggers, you just do all sorts of oh, shit. Oh, you do the top one? Uh-huh, yeah, that's how you throw your little daggers. I thought it was a boomerang. I didn't know anything about well, the Well, I daggers. got a dagger. See in the top box up there, how it's yeah. a little, little knife? Mm-hmm. I, I, I say the letter K because I respect it. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Okay. Etarson, so like bad. Oh, surprise. Negative Nancy rolled up in here. Why is he saying so bad? Is he talking about me that I suck? I don't know. I feel like yes. Who, who are you talking it's about, Etarson? It's my e first time, Etarson. I don't know what's going on. I know, you jerk. So rude. Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta move. 
Okay. So now we're in the graveyard. It, just, it looks like not a graveyard. Oh, and this is a fun game. I played this as a child. I don't understand why, how you know that's a graveyard. Because there's hands coming out of the ground. Isn't that what happens at graveyards? Usually, yeah. And we're fighting these porpoises. We're, we're fighting these honey badgers. I feel like this badgers. game has so much random stuff in it. What do you mean? You're like, I'm in a graveyard. Now there's a... Well, yeah, my, my objective... A little, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. And then he's a ball. He's a hedgehog, right? I don't know, is he? I don't know. I thought he was a honey badger. No. Oh, not you, just Rick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're, okay. you're totally in charge of the chats. All right. Because what Tarson says is Do super I have to important. type back or I can just like Yeah, you say can hear you talk. Yeah, just say it. Okay, I'll I just mean, unless say you want to type. But we got a microphone. He doesn't. That's right. We don't have to listen to his northern aggression. That's right. Joe fucking wishes he was half the gamer I was. Yeah? Yeah. I'm amazo. Amazo balls. Are you on a different level now? Uh, this is, this is stage two. Okay. So you see at the top right where it says block? Yeah. And it says 2-2. Two, two. So yeah. 2 is the stage. And then think of the dash number as like the sub part of the stage, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm just fucking steamrolling this shit. How many are there in each one? 2-2. Two, two. What do we have to get to? I don't know. I honestly I haven't played this in a long time, so I don't, I don't really remember. Uh, Look, there's frogs. I see that. Honey badger don't care. No. Ravens, Skellyman, it's all gonna get you. So what is this called? Castlevania? Yeah. This is like a super famous game, right? Yeah, it's pretty well known. As a matter of fact, the guy who's considered the father of Castlevania recently left, left the company, did a mm -hmm. Kickstarter to raise like 500 grand and he ended up raising like fucking 10 million or something crazy. Oh, really? And he's making his own have game. Have you seen the new game that's like an app that you have to like jump on the different things, but you have to like sing to make it jump? Mm -mm. So if you have to jump a really long way, you have to be like, ah! And it'll what like, is that? It's a game, it's like an app that you can download. Uh uh. Yeah. What's it called? I don't remember. I have to look. Is it Let's called Mavis Bacon Singing? Oh yes. no, we're fighting a boss. That's a sub. what it's called. <gasps> Mavis. Look, it's Medusa. Uh, she's going to kick my ass. Oh no. Rick. She, she stoned me. I, I died her. I, she's dead. I see that. Okay, let me find out. So I don't understand like, how you didn't become a gamer growing up. I played Sonic the Hedgehog with the rings, the gold rings. Yeah. And I played Nintendo 64. But when you say, like, how much did you play? Like, did you just I played a lot. You, did you really? Yeah, I played a lot when I was little. So how did you not get into gaming? I just didn't. I mean, I don't know. I grew out of it. And I was like, that's not fun anymore. Interesting. Yeah. Video games are so amazing. Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to find what that shit's called. And you sing and move up and Yeah, levels. you have to sing. That's how you make them go forward is you have to sing. And then if you want them to jump, you have to like do a higher pitch. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Is this like a new app or something? I never yeah. even heard of this shit. I'll find it for you. Don't worry about it. It's how out of touch I am with today's youth. They jump out of fucking cars and dance and eat Tide Pods. Okay. And it's called Scream Go Hero. Uh, it's supposed Scott, to be. Scott Hoying is playing it. Do you want to see? You should probably turn it so they can't. Oh, no, I guess they can't see yeah. it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a play off of Guitar Hero. You heard of Guitar it's Hero? It's like the little guy jumps when you sing to the different... So how do you make him move forward? You sing. 
So it's supposed to be you know, like Guitar Hero, where you like move further by playing a guitar, but this is for singing. Yeah. Have you heard of Guitar Hero? I thought that's where you do the little. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I didn't know that's how you make it move. I thought Guitar Hero is where you have to hit the buttons to go with the chords. Like, yeah, but it's basically it... like a music game. What is this yeah. called? Scream Go Hero. Yeah, so it's like Guitar Hero, but Scream Go Hero. He has to be like, hey, and then it'll jump. <laughs> Dude, I can't hit those notes. Yes, you can. Not I've like heard that. It. I've heard it. During, that high? During Christmas caroling, I heard it. No, I went low, not high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe somebody squeezed my nuts, I could go that high. All right. Woo -hoo. I could do that for you. Jeez Louise. There are children watching this stream. Yeah. That's what they like doing is watching my old ass play a game. Oh, I know, right? He's She's fucking mean as shit to child. me. That's right. Lauren's fucking mean to me. So I love that me. he's watching. Yeah? Yeah. I like it when Joe watches. <laughs> do you hear Scott? I do. He that's has probably, to be like, hey! that's, that's probably enough like, of that. Yeah, okay, I'll take it off. So, is that like a new game? I don't even know where. I've never Scream heard of that. Scream Go shit. Hero. We should download it and try it out. Okay. I'll let okay. you rock that shit. I'll pay attention again. I feel like I don't have anything to say about this game like I do about the other one. Well, no, but we can talk about other stuff, like what's happening in the latest news. Oh, okay. Well, you tell me what's happening in the news because you know I don't watch it. I don't know. What's the latest show you're watching? Like, well, anything. Well, I watched the Michael Jackson documentary. Oh, my God. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> I know. I can't watch his music anymore after that. I'm telling you. You can't watch his music? No. You mean listen to it? Well, it's normally a show, right? Like you watch. No. You know I mean. Michael J Like if we were in a bar. Like music videos. So say we're in a bar and Thriller came on. We got what? Chad coming off over there. Oh. Where's Dex Max? Dex Max is um, downstairs in the Dexagon because he was being a bad boy and barking outside. So he's banished. That's right. Satan's yes. asshole. Correct. So, um, yeah, the Michael Jackson. Do uh, Joe, have you seen the Michael Jackson documentary? Dude, that's just so fucking weird. Leaving Neverland? Yeah. I was like firmly in the camp of, I think Michael Jackson's just a weird dude that, like, I don't know, had a lot of trauma and liked to hang out with little boys. I mean, but then I watched the documentary that. and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, no, it's definitely that on top of... But that's of... such a different level between, like, I like to hang out with little boys and I'm going to intentionally, like, manipulate and be Oh, insane. shit. That's Moonshine. Who's Moonshine? Uh, we went to high school together. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I fucking love this game. But, yeah, like, watching Neverland was so fucking weird because Michael Jackson, Leaving like... Leaving Neverland, you didn't even watch it. I know about it. What do you know about I, it? I don't. I didn't need to watch that show to know. I feel like you MJ do. did. No, listen, because I was had... finger popping kids. Like, what else do I need? No, to know? there was no finger popping involved. It was a different kind. What of... What was he doing to the, the boys? He was like teaching them how to masturbate. Like he was being. And that's all crazy. he was doing. He and was... like sucking them off. Like he did all kinds of stuff to these little boys. So here's the thing. It's just a. Phrase. They gave like okay, so they gave like detailed descriptions of the abuse. I feel like it was really hard to watch. But yeah, it was, but so before that, before the documentary though, I did not know for sure what his deal was. I thought probably he was innocent of the charges and he was just like, yeah, but he was so manipulative. So like, and it, I mean, yeah, he did a lot of grooming kinds of shit to the kids and their families and everything. I'm yeah, straight up call it shit conditioning. He was like conditioning. That's what them. grooming means. It's like, dude, you let some strange grown ass man sleep in the same bed as your right? uh, boy. Imagine if we had kids and this guy was like, I'm, I want this kid to sleep in the hotel room with me, and you guys can have a hotel room five floors well, away. You know what? You know what? <laughs> if, like that lady. If I got to meet Sean Connery, I'd probably consider it. Sean Connery. Yeah, you remember the lady from the show? She was like, yeah, we went to the show and I got to meet Sean Connery. And oh, yeah. Yeah, if I was like, fuck, if yeah. I can meet Sean Connery. I'd, she was I'd... all about the fame and everything. Yeah, yeah, man. So, I don't know. It's I... on uh, HBO, I think. Yeah, it's on HBO. It's really good. But, dude, that little boy was like, or when it's he was a kid. It's four hours long, though, Joe. They broke it's called it up in the Leaving episodes. Neverland. Yeah, it's two hours and two hours. And then there's like an Oprah interview at the end that's so good. 
I feel like the therapist in me loves it because it really explains Motherfucker, I'm gonna die. How victims of child abuse are, I mean, a lot of times they don't even recognize that it's abuse until later because, I mean, the abuser kind of convinces them that they're in love I, with them. You know, and I, it's, I, I still yeah, don't, it's kind of crazy. I still don't get it. I, what don't you get? They let their kids sleep with a grown-ass man in the same bed. Okay, so that's a different thing, though. That's talking about the parents. Yes, the parents should have known better. They were being assholes. It's like the other one you were watching with where, where the guy was manipulating the parents to get with the daughter. And he, like, banged the mom. and. Oh, yeah. I forgot what that one was called. Debbie does Oh, Dallas. it was, like, abducted in plain sight or something. Yeah, that was another one. The guy, like, I don't yeah. understand the guy. The shit the guy was saying was, like, so... People can be super manipulative. He was another, like, pedophile child abuser. I think that's just people being dumb as fuck. Yeah. Because the shit that he was saying to him like, made no sense. So after I watched all this stuff, so you know how I am. So after I watched all this stuff, I was like, okay, so I'm interested in understanding how pedophiles, like, become the way that they are and how they think <gasps> and how they feel. And, oh, I'm sorry that you died. Are you? No. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> not sorry, absolutely not sorry. So then I listened to like different interviews with actual pedophiles and it was crazy. They were like, we don't think that there's any harm that comes to children and we think that it should be legal to have sex with little boys. What, like, like fucking Nambla? Yeah. Like those fucks? Kind of, yeah. Dude, I don't... I listened to like, I'm not kidding, three and a half hours of an interview with Dude, one of them. Dude, that's such like creeper shit. It is. It was crazy. But like, but the problem is like when you watch that show and I happen to come downstairs and I'm listening to it, like yeah. the shit they say to the parents is like so fucking dumb. Like who would fall for that shit? Like you could be the suavest fucker on the planet, but the shit that he was saying. I don't like, know. I feel like though we don't understand. For one thing, it was a different time when there wasn't as much information and like being aware of predators and stuff back then. Like it was in the early 90s. Lauren, he managed. All right. So this is what all this guy managed to do, right? Like he managed to bang the wife. No, no, jerk no, no, the no. dad no, off. you're talking about a different thing. I was still talking about Michael Jackson. You're oh. talking... <laughs> okay, you're talking about the guy that uh, abducted the girl in plain sight or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was like Mormons in Utah or something that... Yeah, those people were dumb as shit. Like, he managed to bang the wife, sleep with the... Uh, mother fuck me, the same spot. But the whole time he was going after their daughter. Right. And but, he abducted her and took her to Mexico and then still convinced the family. And then the mom still like slept with him after he did that. Yeah. The mom slept with him. He managed to jerk the dad off in a car. He did. And then he managed to convince people, him not to press charges. There are some people that are super manipulative, but they have a good sense of who would be a good victim. They're like, this person needs yeah. some validation and some shit that I can give them. And that so I can be, manipulate them. That shit is beyond stupid as fuck. I mean, okay. People are dumb. Holy shit, that's dumb. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like the people that are, that the predator is able to convince of this stuff are really just kind of victims too. Like, I feel like the parents even are victims in, in the sense that... I mean, They're able to identify that these parents are so, like, at their core flawed that they'd be willing to just, like, turn a blind eye to this. Like, they can identify that the parents have those kinds of needs. What needs? I mean, things like, I mean, a lot of times it's parents that don't feel good about themselves, and so they want things like money and fame and recognition and right, all that kind of stuff. Right, but shouldn't your kids... Shouldn't your kids' well-being be priority? Yes, that's why I'm saying they, they can recognize these people are so fucked up that they, like, don't pay attention to what their kids' priorities are. Oh, man. It's more about their own needs. I, mean, yeah. I guess it shouldn't surprise me. Fuck, people think the world's flat, so I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I swear that's, like, people trolling. I can't believe people believe that shit. There's no, there's no fucking way. Have you met people? Do you know what kind of shit they believe? But when people say the <laughs> earth is flat, like, come on. I mean, there's crazier stuff that people think. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know what could be crazier than, than that, but... I mean, honestly, Adam and Eve wild. is crazier than that. Come well, on. yeah, but the Earth that's is That's what flat. I mean. Yeah, that's, that's crazier. That's something you can literally verify and see right now. That's true. That's true. Like, yeah, that's even more, know. like, fucking nutty to me. To me, anyway. I don't know. Yeah. So we're in 3-3 three, three already. 
What's that? The stage. Oh. How many is there in each level? I don't know. I think it's three. Three sub-levels, because I think we're almost at the boss. Okay. It's a giant serpent thing with two heads. Where? At the end of the level. Oh, we already played that one, right? Or no? Hmm. Oh. No, this is a giant serpent. Oh, no, you played the one that had, like, Med all the, like... Medusa? Yeah, the snake things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is, like, a giant-ass serpent. Mm. That eats turkey and stuff. I feel like you just made that part up. I did. I'm so thirsty. Are you? Uh-huh. I don't have anything for you to drink. Oh, there's some uh, rum over there. You're right. Oh, man, boss time. Boss want... time, here we go. Here we go, game on. Game on. Do you want... Some rum? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready for this? Yeah. It's a boss. Oh, my God. Joe says, prove to me it's round. I mean, Joe, I don't know. You've got to you gotta look at the videos from NASA that went into space and said, here's the Earth from a distance. It's round. Look. And all of the other planets that we can observe. I mean, honestly, look at the moon. It's round. Like, you can kind of apply that same logic, right? What? All right. This you is... never heard of the, the Mars Flat Society? Pour. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You won? Yep, sure sure as heck did. You darn rootin' tootin' we did. Is it game over? No. No, it is not. The way that I'm gonna prove to you that it's round is look, I made a round with my hand. That means that's round. I'm going to El Bano. Okay. You're in charge of the game, the chat, the mic, the whole show. All it's right. All you. Okay, Bye, this is the Lauren show now. So I guess we should start the game. I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna die for sure. Rick, I hit start and then it froze. Oh, here we go. It was already started. Ah, ah, die. Ha. Oh no. You doing good? Oh no, I gotta go down these stairs. Get out of here. God, this skeleton dude. Yeah, you gotta watch them skeleton. Ah. The skeleton will get you. Hide How do I get the over? Seat. There you go. Where am I supposed to? Oh, where was I supposed to go to? I knew I would die. I feel like I did pretty good. I mean, I've considering the platforms pretty well. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you're still there, Moonshine, but uh, this Fake is news. this is uh, this is legit. Legit controller. This isn't like one of those bullshit. You know, whatever. It's like you can okay. see legit controller here. You want this? Sure do. All right. Here's to the uh, the Belmont family slaying evil. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Rick. Okay. I spilled this one. Oh, no. What a waste. Oh, boy. So mm. who's in here? Joe, Moonshine, and who else? There's one more. I don't know. I feel like that's us watching ourselves. It counts as one. No. No? Okay. We have a peeping Tom in here. Who is it? I don't know. Oh, I thought you meant in the room, like Ronan or something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, you got little Khaleesi back there behind you. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see it on the camera. Daddy's little angel. Yeah. <clears throat> so, one thing that kind of throws me off about these games, right? Like, I played the Shadows as a kid. Some of these games I, you know, beat. Others definitely fucking not because they were just insanely hard but then whenever I try to go back and play them as an adult I am so fucking bad and I'm like I don't know how I beat this shit as a kid I mean I feel like that's me at every video game but you didn't beat them as a kid did you? I did I was really good at Sonic the Hedgehog really? yeah Sonic on uh, um, maybe Sega have, maybe we should have thrown on some Sonic for you to play it was Sega but I don't remember how to do the controllers that's the worst part for me is my hands like and my brain don't know how to coordinate themselves yeah i mean you could do you do kind of have big hands so i can see that being 
Bullshit. They're regular size. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Skellyman. Nice. What yeah. is he talking about? Boom. Nice. I need to know what what is what is this in reference to? Right. Uh, we don't know. A a Amos is a wild man, or Moonshine's a wild man. Yeah. All right. I got to do a quick jump. Quick jump. Quick jump. Whoa! Flipping. Why are you going backwards? Well, because I went up. Now I'm going left. Oh. We got Skellyman hanging. Being wild as hell. Oh, all the candles will give you a heart. What? That one, get the, get your tool. Go I back got, for I it. Got, I got a dagger. I don't want that one. Oh. Shit. Shit. So we got to jump quick. Jump quick. Oh, Fuck. no. Dang, dang it. Rick, you can't jump on the green guys. Well, I had to jump from down below to get up to it. Oh. Right? So you had to be like quick on the jump, and that's why I kept falling through. So everything about this, I fucking love. Oh, my God. Man. Is that a turkey? Yeah, he eats shit out of candles and walls. Just meat. Okay. Can't believe he's not fucking Medusa heads Speaking flying around. Speaking of meat, I feel like we should grill some stuff soon. Your playing skills. Yeah. Uh-oh, boss time. All right. Here it goes. What's up with his tongue? That's an extreme tongue. He's trying to lick you. It's like Dexter. He's D-E-D. Just running on through. Do you think we should go get Dexter and have him join the show? <laughs> I would love nothing more than Dexter to be up here. <laughs> I know. Oh my God, what's happening to the room? It's tilting. Why? I feel like if you land on those purple things, you get... <clears throat> killed no what purple things that are like the little daggies daggery oh, thingies spikes yeah yeah, yeah. They'll, 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 they'll face fuck you oh no i don't understand all the different things in this game that are showing up like i feel like it's really random it's all evil that's all you need to know okay it's like here are these little le little heads and then here's a turkey leg and then here's some candles Shit. i don't understand oh no the room's spinning again i need turkey isn't this crazy? The whole yeah. fucking room spinning. I feel like that's the kind of shit that I used to pretend was happening whenever I did the rings on the playground. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the like monkey yeah. rings. Yeah, and be like, oh no, spikes below. <laughs> What's <laughs> I feel happening? Like that's what he's doing. Or hot or lava. It's like, don't touch the ground. It's lava. Yeah. Um. Oh, fucking Joe. So Lauren finally watched uh, Orville. She she hasn't been watching it at all, but just she, one episode. She watched this week's episode, and I think I think she's I liked a fan. it. I did. It was a good episode. What the fuck? What? Get away from me, Skellyman! God, I almost died. I got like one health. I'm so fucking dead. There's meat in one of these candles, if I recollect. Meat? Oh, the truck. Oh, God, I needed that meat. Is that, that what meat. you needed? Yeah, I needed that meat, so oh, that man. savory. Why sometimes you get a little heart and sometimes you get a big heart? Uh, it's just random. The big heart gives me... So the hearts in this game... So when I use a dagger, see, I throw the dagger. It uses a heart. On the top there, see, I got 57, 56. Yeah. So the little heart is one. Um, the big heart it counts as five. So, I feel like the hardest part is you have to, like, get the coordination down so your brain just automatically does it. Like driving or something. You know, yeah, when you first yeah. start driving, you're like, oh, fuck, I don't know how to brake and go. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, that's me on this. Oh, yeah, yeah. This definitely takes practice. Like, no, yeah. this isn't something that you just do and you're like, oh, I fucking got it, hands down. Yeah. You're like, Y is attack and what is the other one? B is jump? Yeah. Yeah, still, my brain is like, we can't do it. Like, yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah, after a while, it's just, uh, what do they call it, muscle memory? Yeah. So, anyway, I feel like I'd have to Warren is a lot. fan of the... Uh, Orville? Orville. Just that one episode. I don't know about the other ones. But I do like the gay couple that got addicted to cigarettes. Oh, Bordas and... Uh, yes, I love them. They're, uh, what is their race? Mocklins or some shit? All right, here we go, watch. Gone. Whoa, okay. I gotta go quick. Oh, He's no. He's gonna try to run me to the spikes. You survived you like it. like that? That was pretty good. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take the axe. All right. You better axe somebody. How do you know which which ones are better? 
uh, it's all depends on where you are in the game kind of thing, right? Yeah. So, like, those, um, oh, God, what were they? The, uh, the Hydra things I fought? Yeah. That's pretty good at them because of the way it attacks, like, in an upward motion. Mm-hmm. And then some weapons are really good for, uh, something like, uh, whatchamacallit? Like, everything does a different shape. Like, some some things burn in front of you, and it's good for, like, damage something really quick. Mm -hmm. uh, the boomerangs go back and forth, and it'll hit something that's in front of you really well. If something's flying over you, the axe is better because the way it, like, arcs up. I feel like that's too advanced for me. They just, it takes, oh, my God. Yeah. This is the boss. Oh, man. What are we fighting? What are we fighting? Do you know what it is? Yeah. A big frog? No, oh. that's a big golem, man. Light my ass up. That reminds me of like the rock man from the never ending story. Oh yeah, the rock biter, I think they called him. Yeah. The never ending story. Da, da, da. Oh my god, we're even on health. We're even on health. Am I gonna do it? Or am I gonna die? Yes, you're gonna do oh, it. Oh my god, we both got two health. Oh shit! Oh no. Damn Rick. it. I had that motherfucker. You have to start all oh. over. No, just back on level four. You're four four again. Yeah, but I gotta go through the, the moving platforms again. Oh, that was easy for you. Whatever. Was... You were like, oh, this place is gonna get me, but it was super easy. It was so tough. No. You can do it. Handling it like a boss. Yeah. Like a boss. Mm hmm. So I need to turn you into a gamer. That's my goal in life. That's not gonna happen. That's my goal in life. I'll that's sit here and every, talk to you about stuff. That's every gamer's goal. Mm -hmm. So what is your latest uh, Netflix binge? You're watching what? The Magicians? Yeah. And oh, that's where the guy got his eyes ripped out, right? Mm-hmm. Did you finish that one? No. It got weird in the second season. What do you mean? It got hard to follow, like where they had a bunch of random plot stuff happening that was like uh, hard to follow. So I just yeah. said, fuck it. I don't like it anymore. You know what my favorite show was that you watched? What? Fucking Gossip Girl. Stop it. That was the best. Fucking Chuck Bass. I feel like Dexter was one of my favorite shows I've ever watched. I love Dexter. Oh, the show you named your dog after? Yeah. <laughs> I could see that. It was so good. It's 810. What time do you want to start grilling? Um, we can we can do this till like eight thirty. Okay. Sorry, I'm not paying attention very well. Get this rock guy. I'm trying, motherfucker. Oh God, he's no, kicking the Rick. shit out of me, man. How do you know what his health is? Uh, see where it says enemy. Oh yeah, me? enema. Enema. And that's why we're married. Damn it! Get down here, you jerk. Fucking one more hit. One more hit. Come here, you fuck. Ha. D -E -D. We both fucking died at the same time. You died too? Yeah. Man, fuck this rock Rick. guy. Well, I didn't mean to. It's not like I intentionally did oh, it. No. Hashtag rips the victim. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really watch too much of anything, right? Like, I watch the usual stuff, like, um, or what I consider the usual stuff, like Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. So a lot of the stuff that you watch, okay, here's my thing. When I get done with work and I come home, I can't, like, have 10 out of 10 focus. Like, I probably have 3 out of 10 focus But I get I bored home. with shows, right? Like, I, I watch a show and I'm like, I'm I love fucking... watching, like, love stories and stuff. I'm just a girl. I just like the girl stuff. I don't know. But, like, don't you ever, like, when you watch them, don't they feel, like, predictable? Yeah. Yeah. And I love it. I know what's going to happen. It doesn't stress me out. I just want to see it played out. Like Game of Thrones. I can't fucking predict what's going to yeah, happen Yeah, Game, Game of, of Thrones, Thrones stresses me out. Like, I've got to watch really carefully. If I miss anything, then I, like, don't know what happened. Yeah. But, so, listen. I like to watch Gossip Girl and get on my phone at the same time. So, I can, like, well, be looking really at Reddit. you're not really watching the show. I, but I do. But when something happens that I want to see, then I watch it. What about, like, a show like Stranger Things? That's so, not a predictable show. No, it's not. Stranger Things. Okay, so I like Stranger Things. All right, I'm right? gonna fuck this rock guy up. Okay, do it. I mean, just shit falling on me before I even. Come on, dude. I gotta get smarter about this. 
Where's this shit even coming from, man? How do you hide from the falling blocks? You gotta, like, know where they're gonna fall, like, oh, bullshit, no. right? Like, it's fucking nonsense. Rick, your health is not looking good. Did you die, too? Yeah, you bitch! Beat him? You beat him? Yep. Very oh my good. god, I had one fucking health left. Jesus Christ, this is hard. How Telling many levels it's hard. are there? I don't know. I don't know. You have to like Google, Google it. it. Yeah, Google it. How What's many? It how many stages are in Super Castlevania? I'm in stage five now. Like we're not even at the castle yet. We're... Is it Super Castlevania four? Yep. Okay. Eleven. Oh my God! We're in stage five. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna try to beat this level. Okay. And then we'll save it, and then we'll uh, we're gonna do some grilling. Okay. And these fucking bunnies don't kill me first. So. Those are demonic ass bunnies. I know, right? Yeah. God, I'm gonna die not even paying attention. Hmm. I'm gonna die not paying attention. Okay, so, right. would you like to know a little a little gaming tidbit? Okay. Historical. So a, lo a lot of these games are made uh, in Japan. Okay. Right? Yeah. So they would make them in Japan very difficult. And in the U.S., when they released in the U.S., they would be easier. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because the Japanese did not respect the American gamer and assumed they were honestly too stupid to play harder games or not good enough to play harder games. I feel like that's games. a safe assumption. However, Honestly. for the original Nintendo, when these games came out of all the fucking games, the American version of Castlevania was actually harder than the Japanese version. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Not really sure why. Like, yeah, like a lot of the games were just harder fucking games. And I feel like I need, like, a training session. Like, I feel like I need them to give me a game where, like, there's one button. And then progress to, like, more. Well, yeah. It w I mean, I got an Atari downstairs. We could play that shit. Oh. You play Frogger. How do you Look play that? That's where you got to cross the street is a frog. Look it up in your phone. Look at Frogger. And you, there's just the little joystick on it's an Atari? It's a joystick and a, and a button. And you don't you even know use the liked, button. I, you know, this is what I liked about Nintendo 64. It had the little thumb joystick. The what? The little thumb joystick. On what? Nintendo 64. Uh, see, I never played that. That was um, my favorite one. You played Mario Kart on it, and you, because I didn't have to deal with the little. My brain doesn't do like the arrow shit. I need just uh, like a little thing to control, like with my thumb, where I can like go slightly, or you know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. Man, fuck these fucking rabbit bastard! God damn these rabbits! Of all the enemas, I mean enemies, I'm having trouble with fucking rabbits. Yeah. So, the other thing on the screen you can look at, too, is, like, you can see playtime, actual stream time, oh, shit like that. when I shared it, it just shared your, your YouTube channel. It didn't share, like, that you're doing the live or anything. Click on it and see what it does. Bam. And if you have videos. It doesn't say you're live right now. Oh. Oh, man, we sound really good. Mm -hmm. We're professionals at this, by the way. You're right. Why is it so much, like, behind what we're doing? I mean, I'll explain it to you off camera. I don't know if anybody would be very interesting in how this shit works. If anyone is, like, subscribe, comment, share. <laughs> Rick, I don't know if anybody does that anymore. No one does that anymore. Really? No. I don't know. They might. I'm getting old. I don't know what's happening in the world. You're so it's full true. of shit. No, it's true. What? Like, I don't know. I guess, like, young people are coming up with, like, all kinds of different sayings that, like, like don't what? make any sense. I know all the young kids' sayings. Try me. Bullshit. I know all of it. Um, Rusty trombone? I know what it means. I had to teach you what rim job means, if we're going to be honest. Lauren, that is so fucking dirty. What is rim job? Tell us all what rim job is. Everyone watching knows what... Everyone in the no, world, except for you. Apparently. Not everybody knows what fucking yes. rim job is. No, we were driving from Texas. If you know what rim job means, hit like on the thing. Okay. 
Anyway, so listen, we were driving from Austin back to South Carolina, and there was this big truck that like pulled up next to us that had these crazy rims on it, and Rick was like, "Look at Mr. Rim Job." And I was like, I said that out of anger because the guy fucking like cut me off. He's been. He a didn't dick. know what it meant. You didn't know what rim job meant, right? No. Well, and I, yeah, exactly. it was, it was a big ass. Let me tell you, it was a, one of his big ass fucking Cadillac Escalades, right? Where this fucking dude like was just driving like a dick bag, and um, I got fucking mad. I was like, "Look at fucking Mister Rim Job here," because when I looked to my left, uh, as he passed me, he I had those like giant fucking dumbass looking chrome rims, and I was mad. And Lauren is fucking laughing at me. I'm like, "Damn, I, I didn't think correct. it was that. I didn't think it was funny." Maybe I should tell people. I need to like delete this thing that I shared. Because it just is showing your YouTube channel. Like, no one's going to know we're doing a live. So I have to share it and say we're going live. I don't know how to do that. I, I will do it. It's fine. I mean, we're about to not be live, so I don't know if there's a point in sharing at okay. this point. Good job, though, Lauren. Way to support, <laughs> your, trying so support hard. your loving husband. Okay, let me try it. Let me just say. I'll post it and then see if anyone joins it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Did you post it from your one or from the 30 Lives Gaming one? I think I did it on I did it on mine. Okay. So so like I was saying before, the so Japanese gamers versus American gamers, there's a very interesting history there that you may not be aware of. What? That they don't respect American gamers and they made all the American versions of things easier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they didn't think we were capable of playing hard games. So they made all of our shit easier compared to what they got. Except for Castlevania for some damn reason. It's like, bro, of all the games, you could have made this one a little easier. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm not listening. I'm writing in the thing. You're telling him to come join the live stream? I said Rick talked me into joining his live stream. If anyone wants to watch him play, what is it called? Castlevania? Super, yeah, yeah. How do you spell it? How do you spell what? Which word? Like castle and then vania? V-A-N-I-A? Yeah, yeah. Okay. God damn it. I suck so bad. So for anyone watching, it is very hard to like talk and try to maintain a conversation and fucking play, right? Like a little, a little tougher than I would think. Your brain's kind of. That's why we need to play the Atari and do it, right? I burped. Rick, stop. Out of control. You're out of. Oh. Mm. Dang on it. How do you like your music in this game? I don't. Really? Wah, 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 wah. I mean, well. I mean, that's wah, wah, not wah. part of the music. That's when I kill <laughs> I know, enemies. It's the, sound, it's the sound effects. Yeah, I'm talking about the music. I mean, it sounds like video game music. Like, I would never voluntarily be like, let's put on this song. Stop drinking the haterade. Right? Would you ever choose this to be like, let's jam out to this song? <laughs> I think you know me well <laughs> That's enough. That's true. You might. Yes. That's true. The guy who will sit and listen to Warcraft music for hours. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. See that holy water? Yeah. Look at these guys coming at you like this. Yeah. They're creepers, man. Yeah. Ding on it. Fuck that guy. He's throwing an axe at me. Yeah? Who throws a fucking axe at somebody? I don't know. I've seen you throw a few axes. That's rude as fuck. During this game. Well, you know what? They're evil. <laughs> All yeah. right, so listen to this music. We're jumping from chandeliers. Isn't this cool? I mean, yes. So cool. I knew I'd win you over at some Why point. is that the biggest chandelier? Because this is Dracula's castle. Okay. God, you just don't get it. You're on 6 1. You've got to get to what? 11? I think it's what you said, right? 11? Yeah, there's 11 levels. And we're doing this shit tonight. What happens if you win the game? Then. See, that's what I don't get about video games, too. It's like if you win the game, like, a, nothing man. happens. It does. 
What happens? Something happens. What happens? There's an ending to the game. It's what like when you, you win just... solitaire and all the cards like flow out no. and you feel happy. No, man. What is it? That's kind of what happens. What, they send you a check in the mail? I mean, I feel like that would be worth it. The fuck are you talking about? When you watch a TV show, do you get a check in the mail? Like No, but like you're not trying to beat anything. You're just being entertained by it. Right, that's what this is. Except okay. this is interactive entertainment, where I'm actually doing a thing but instead then, of just okay. saying like a mile So when zombo. you win, you just like feel happy, and that's the reward? I mean, when you watch Friends and it ended, how did you feel? Did you get a check in the mail when you finished Friends? Listen. Hmm. Oh, my God. You're being so aggressive right I now. I mean, I'm just stating factual information. <laughs> I don't understand the video game thing. It doesn't... I don't know. I'm not So, it, it depends on the kind of game you play, right? Right. Like, when you play a game, it's there's different... Think of it like music, right? This game brings back the feels. That's what Moonshine said. This does. Because we grew up... This, is, this was a game that was... When is we Moonshine your age? Yeah. You know him from what, college or high no, school? He, no, we're from good old Sampson County together. Oh, man. Um, yeah, when we went to visit, I went one, two times shit, to Autryville. I'm not paying attention. So pay attention. Yeah, you went, you went so to I Vegas? Went a couple times, yeah. And uh, we went to your grandmother's funeral, and then we went and ate food, and then we went outside of the restaurant. What restaurant do we go to with Anna and everybody? Oh, it was... The one across from the gas station. Oh, it was Pittman's. Yeah, so we went to eat. And then I don't we... think that was around when, when I was in high school. That's kind of a newer addition to A Vegas. Okay, well, anyways, we walk outside, and I'm like, okay, so show me Autryville. And we were at, like, the stoplight, and you were like, this is it. This is the whole town. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. So, all right, so when it comes to gaming, it's like, um, it's like movies, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you've got different, God fucking damn it. You have different uh, genres of movies. You got comedies, action, love, right? Right. So same with uh, games. You've got what they call, this is an action platformer. Mm -hmm. You have RPGs, which are role-playing games, which tell you a lot of story. Yeah. You have games that are puzzle games, where you got to sit and figure shit out. Mm -hmm. um, or genres of music. Mm -hmm. Like it's There's different genres of games. Like, I don't play every game. Like, sports games, I don't play sports games. Right. I just don't like fucking sports. Like, Madden, whatever. Like, I just don't play those. See, I feel like if there was anything I'd like to play, it would be, like, Wii Tennis or something. Where you can, like, But that's where you're actually... That that's way. where you're actually interacting, right? So, like, yeah. the sports games that I'm talking about is, like, football, where it's not quite like Nintendo does it. Where it's... it's I, I don't know. Maybe somebody else could tell you. What's but Moonshine LOLing about? Oh, the entire town was his was one stoplight. <laughs> I was Wait, like, what is you, this? You know A Vegas? Probably. A Vegas. That's what I call Ultraville. A Vegas. Oh. Why? It's it's kind of a sarcastic way to say it. Oh. It's a small town of like what 190 was the place? people, Holly's? so that's nothing to do with Vegas. Holly's where we went to get burgers or what? Uh yeah, I think it's called Big Daddy's now. It's oh. not like yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, you're totally in charge of chat, so. I'm being in charge. Mm. There's nothing happening. Large and in charge. Lauren, don't say it that way. We got so many views. Everybody's watching our stuff. Two watchers. Please start me back here and not from the fucking beginning. I want six two. Okay, here we go. Here We're we go. We're gonna do it. Be the ball. Shake and bake. Lauren, we're totally going to beat this game. You think so? Oh, fuck yeah. You're only on 6-2. you got a little ways I mean, to go. Jesus, man. Does I... it get harder or is it just the oh, same? Oh, it gets fucking harder. Oh. This shit gets way harder. It's not as... Oh, my goodness. What is happening? It's floating ladies. They're ghosts. They're going a little fast. I know, right? Slow down from my old people eyes. Yeah, these are all ghosts in the castle. In the dining, I'm in the dining room of the castle. Mm. Axe, motherfucker. That's how I do it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. He says, yeah. He was laughing at one stoplight. Don't laugh at that. Listen, I mean, she's from Texas. She doesn't know any better. She's not civilized like us North Carolina folk. Mm. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. 
They're wild as hell in Texas. They're like, everything's bigger. I'm going to tell you right now, that shit's a lie. When we drove from Louisiana. Oh, the trees. On yeah, Interstate okay, 10. Okay. Okay, okay. So first of all, in Louisiana, it was kind of weird for me to see uh, a fucking drive through margarita place. In Louisiana? In Louisiana. Yeah, that shit's crazy. But they give you, like, the straw, and it still has a little bit of the paper on top. Yeah. And they're like, as long as the paper's on top, then it's legal. Like, why would you not take the little paper hat off and drink it? They and then... fucking do. I know. But it's just so they're not responsible. So they're like, well, we didn't technically right. give you an open container. I went to Shreveport one time with my ex-boyfriend. But, like, fucking after a. we w- broke up, uh-huh. when I was, like, I don't know, maybe 19 or 20 or something... And I went to his hometown with him, but it was like a year after we'd already broken up. It was a, such a weird trip. I don't know why I went with him. I can't remember. I feel like we left at like two o'clock in the morning and drove to Louisiana. And we just drove around and drank like margaritas and went That's to parties. That's a fucking haul from where it's, did you It was drive far home? from Austin. Yeah, it's to like fucking Shreveport. eight hours or some shit. It was, it was kind of far. I rem- it was such like a, I feel like that's such a weird memory to think about now. Uh, yeah. That's weird. It was with Edward. He's from Shreveport. It's your fucking Eye of Osiris. Yeah. God fucking damn me. Rick. Well, this thing, here's the thing. It's, but at it? least you start back on 6-2 and not on 6 well, I'm out of lives and I'm about to have to start Oh, over. no. No, look at all your health. No, but look at, see where it says P? Uh-huh. That's how many uh, lives I have left. How do you get another life? Uh, if you get a bunch of points. Well, I'm I'm about to boss it. You know what? Here's what I'm going to need. I'm going to need what? some courage juice. Okay. See, so make that happen, Captain. Okay. I'm gonna murder fucking ghosts. Oh, I got a life. Do you hear that? What? Oh, oh you I did? I got a life. Yeah. Look at Wee. you. Look at Wee. you, Rick. You should try to get some more lives. Fucking handling this shit. Handling it. When did you say that we're going to uh, grow? Right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me get to a stop point okay. first. Here, I'll pour you a shot. Because I don't do good on pouring it on the uh, table. Hey, Moonshine, are you still there? It says there's two people. I think it's him and Joe. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm having I'm, I'm having an issue with the the newer games, and I don't know if you do you use uh, OBS. What's OBS? What we're using to record and stream. Oh. Yeah. Here's to uh, fuck you, Japan, for making games easier. I feel like that's too much. No, it's not. Let me finish mine. Okay, go ahead. Here's to fuck you, Japan, for making games easier in the U.S. because you didn't think we were worthy. It didn't make a clank. Do it again. Well, because your fingers. Uh. Do it again. Here, we've got to do it closer. Okay. Do it one more time. No, that's enough. <laughs> Clanky clank. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah? Hurry up. Blah, 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 blah. You do it. You I can first. handle it. No, I can handle it. Because I don't take the whole shot. Rick, don't drink it all. Are I you did. Me? I have a very sophisticated palate. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a very sophisticated man. You didn't do that? Oh, my God. Javier where's, knows that. Where's Javier? Why is he not watching us? I don't know. Maybe he's at a fucking Mexican donkey show. He is in he is in Mexico. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get to this. So when I die, that that'll be it. We'll finish the stream. Okay, so moonshine is still on here. Moonshine, why is your name the underscore moonshine? Do you like to drink moonshine, or why? Because I feel like moonshine's a little bit uh, a little excessive, right? No. I think it's very acceptable. Moonshine. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm like scared to drink moonshine. Because like, okay, people are like, yeah. one shot and you'll fucking die. Like, it's extreme. I mean, you, could, you probably could use it to clean your engine. Yeah. Yeah. It's good for two things. What's the difference between moonshine and like regular alcohol? Moonshine is very high in um, alcohol content. So it's like 100% like, alcohol by volume? Honestly, it's probably like 120 proof for some crazy shit. Yeah. I don't okay. Know. You'd have to ask Siri how much, what proof. So is, I feel like regular hard day. liquor is eighty proof, right? Like rum, vodka. 
stuff like that. I think it's 80 proof. It's it's 40% alcohol by volume. I'm more of a beer person, to be honest. Okay. So 120 proof. I don't know. What would happen if you just drank, like, rubbing alcohol? Would you get drunk or would you just die? I think that's like an aphrodisiac. I feel like that's not. I feel like that's like snails It would make you horny. No. Oysters. That's right. Not snails. Oysters. Rubbing alcohol does that too. No. Yeah. No. That causes you to die. Totally does, bro. Moonshine says yes. I'm not sure what that means. He, Moonshine, I need oh, he's you asking to if you're still there. He's saying you're still there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You got to remember, Moonshine, when we look and we see your chat, the, the video is like 10 seconds or so behind, so we may not be aware of what you're responding to exactly. Oh, okay. Unfiltered. Okay. so We're from the future. Unfiltered alcohol. All right. Do you drink moonshine, or what's the reason that's your name? Tell us. We're curious. How curious are you? Bi curious. Oh shit! Oh, Not tri curious. No. Look at that. Took it up a notch. Oh man, this is the statistic that I just saw on Facebook. 56% of millennial women prefer not to share a bank account with their partner. Are you considered a millennial? Yes. So do you want to not have a shared bank account? I'm fine with that if you want to do your own shit. No, thank you. (laughs) I'm in on you doing it. (laughs) That's fine. (laughs) You heard it here first, folks. Oh my God. I am within the uh, 44%. That does not support having. But but here's the thing. So like you you have your own stuff, right? I mean, like your own. You have your own bank account. We have a joint, but you and I both have our own. Mother right. fuck me, this red skelly man. Rick, the red skelly man. But like, so here's the thing. So when it comes to relationship stuff, like mm-hmm. I think a person needs. Uh, they do need a level of privacy from their motherfucker. I've lost half my life on the same skelly. Rick, man. why are you doing that? Because I'm being bad, as uh, Etarson would say. Oh. Um, no, but, like, I think even though you're, like, so married, like, you do need a degree of privacy because you're still, like, your own person, right? Right. Like, like I need to be able to order whatever I want on Amazon, like, yeah, toys you don't have for to tell Dexter. Me or... Fucking all your goddamn business all the fucking time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like a person needs their own individual privacy. Right. So they can go, like, get Waffle House. I don't know. Read the chat. You're not. Uh, you're listen, horrible. Listen, he this said one chat. thing. Yes, but it's bad for you. Yes, I don't know what yes is in reference to. Then it says it's also my gamer tag since 2004. Halo. Halo. Was oh, okay. Game. So that's what he chose as his like username God, for yeah. playing Halo. Rick, why right, well, are you I, dying? I'm not paying attention. I'm <gasps> talking way too much. Game over. Do you want to pick this up again another time? Okay. My little buttercup. Yeah, don't do that. Something's to me. in I hate your it. ear. Rick. What's in your ear? Get out. Okay. I don't like that. Okay, so I guess bye, Felicia. Is it a bye, Felicia? Yep, we're leaving. Right? Yeah. Look at this little angel back here. Get her. I feel like she's going to... She'll bite your face off if you try to pick her up. Do it. Do it. See what happens. You think my cat will fucking bite me? I don't think she's going to bite you. You I think that she's going to be an asshole about it, though. Listen. (laughs) She hates it. Look at this baby. Look at that face. She's just a baby girl. Why does she let you do that? She'll, like, consume my soul if I try to pick her up. Because I'm a fucking father. Hi, Khaleesi. You're such a little asshole. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, she's not. You love that baby girl. All right, so anyway, yeah, we'll... That's why M9 equals Oonshine. You asked why his name was Moonshine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. so he's saying, like, yeah, that was a game. Yeah, I get it. When I played. That's what he was saying yes to, because I was like, why is he saying yes? So back when um, Halo was out on the original Xbox, we used to play it uh, in in college on the LAN, and my gamer tag was uh, Immigration. And it was the seniors on battalion staff versus the juniors in Oscar Company. And every time we won, I'd come out, kick my door open, come out to the galley and yell, "Uh, you just got deported, motherfuckers. And then all of a sudden, you'd hear them come out of their rooms and in the barracks and go, fuck you, immigration. Fuck you. What? At the Citadel? Yeah. You did that? Wreck. Yeah, I was an asshole. 
That's so extreme. anyway, yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll save it here and we'll try to pick this up. We're about halfway through the game. Um, it's hard to get. Uh, oh, it didn't share. You're just fucking <laughs> shitting all over my dreams right now. I'm sorry. I tried to share it, but it didn't like, work. Uh, too or bad. Go so. girl, my burgers. Listen. Mm -hmm. I seasoned the burgers. Did you? Yes. You over seasoned them, you mean? Yes. That's what you said. I feel like it's too much. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, maybe next time we'll either try to beat this or maybe we'll play something like a Mario game. I don't know. We've got tons of games. Hell, if you guys got something you maybe think we'll pay. Maybe we'll play, pay. Maybe we'll play Atari with the one joystick so I can do oh, it. Oh, yeah. One button, one joystick. Yeah. That's well, right. It, well, so it's hard. To, like, I'm trying to find games that, like, are somewhat interactive, but it's also something... Um, Lauren would be interested in like she's a non-gamer so I need something that some, somewhat she would want to play right so like The Division 2 I don't think Lauren would be interested in watching that maybe uh, like Gossip Girl the video game I would rather drink a I feel like I sound so stupid when you tell people that that's what I watch but listen it's because I don't knows. have to use my brain anyone to watch watching it. this has no fucking idea what Gossip Girl is so no no one would think you're stupid or not because they don't know what the fuck Gossip Girl is I feel like they can infer well, they can't From the now. Title. That you said all what you said. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna know it's like a, one of those girly shows. Like, here's the thing: a show like that is 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 it's like a guilty pleasure, right? Yeah. Like you're not that invested in it. You realize what it is, but it's a guilty pleasure. Correct. It's like B-rated zombie movies. Like I fucking Correct. love those. For some reason, it's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. There's one person left. Let's mm -hmm. go grill our burgers. Yeah. All right. Time to grill. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Uh, tell everybody. Tell everybody. Okay, bye. All right. Uh, how do I? Uh, I forgot how to do this. I can't see. The bottle's on the way.